In today's video, I'm going to check the simple node app we created before and add some more interesting capabilities like exposing an Express.js web server and consuming a Mongo database. Then I'm going to start from our previous Docker file to add a new file for Docker Compose for starting multiple containers. For the node app, I'm going to use Express.js for exposing a simple endpoint or URL to return what is currently on a document in Mongo. I am also going to create the database access using Mongoose. You can find some tutorials about exposing an endpoint or URL with Express and also how to consume a Mongo database using Mongoose in the description for this video. First, Let's install our app's dependencies by typing npm install minus minus save express mongoose. This will download and install the dependencies locally so you can test the code before adding the containers into the mix. The minus minus save part is important here so, so that they are stored in the package.json file that is going to be used by the container to again install the same dependencies inside it. Let's create the database.js file then. First, we need to include mongoose and define the connection on the top. It is important here to remember that we are expecting that there is a service called Mongo defined in the Docker Compose file. This will become clearer when we discuss about using Docker Compose. Then we will define the schema for the kittens model, create a function for initializing the database connection in which I am going to create a new random cat when the connection is established. The last function is what you need to create the random cat and persist it in Mongo. We are exposing the model and the connection initialization function so it can be used in another file. For the express part of the application, I'm going to first import express and the newly created database module I will get the Express.js app so we can expose our endpoints or URLs and also initialize the Mongo connection. I will add one route that returns hello world so, what, so that we can test that Express.js is really running and working. I will add another route to just return the list of kittens that we have in the database. And finally, we are going to configure Express so it listens to connections using the 3000 port on the container. I am going to start from where we left off for the Docker file of the previous video, creating a Docker container for a Node.js application, and then add a Docker Compose file so we can have several containers running without much complications. I'm also going to add a simple admin for the Mongo database using admin Mongo's container. So first, let's expose the port 3000 on the Docker file for the web app that our Express app is using to listen for requests. Before we continue, I just want to move the application to its own folder called web-site. This step is not necessary, but I like having all of the app's stuff in one place. The last file that we have to create is the docker-compose.yml file. This is the file that will describe which services or containers should be started in order for our app to work properly. I'm going to define three services. One, for our web app, one for our database, and one last service to help us browse the documents in our database without resorting to writing, writing code. The first service, the one for the node app, will be called web. You can choose the name for the image given that we are telling Docker Compose to build it 
using the Docker file located in the website folder next to the Docker Compose file. The command is the line that Docker Compose will execute after the container is up. This will override the CM CMD command that we defined for last line for the last line of the Docker file. We define that we want the 3000 port from the container to be mapped out to our host's 3000 port as well. And finally, we'll tell Docker Compose we need the Mongo service to be up and running before this service. Even though I've chosen similar names for services and images for the last two services, they do not really need to match. The second service will be called Mongo. And this name is important because we are using it inside the database.js file for identifying the container with the Mongo database. Finally, I'm going to add another service so that we can explore the Mongo database freely without writing any code. We are using admin Mongo for this. Now we need to run our set of containers. For this, I'm going to use the docker-compose command instead of just the docker command that we used in the previous video. The reason for this is because docker-compose allows us to automate even further our workflow by allowing us to configure how each container should be started, which folders to share with it, which ports and whatnot. The first command I'll execute is docker-compose build, which will download and build the images that we created for our services. Before we continue, if you're not sure what's the IP for your newly created container, just type docker-machine IP, and it will give you the IP that you can use for your containers. In my case, it is 192.168.99.100. So I can now type docker-compose app and then just open the browser and open http colon slash slash 192.168.99.100. Colon 3000 in the browser. The part after the colon is because this is the part exposed for the web app. We will see the hello world message here. Now let's add slash test find to the URL to see the list of kittens stored in the database. All right, everything seems to be working here. I'm almost done. But remember that I added one last service so we could check the database when we are developing and testing? Well, let's open HTTP slash uh, colon slash slash 192.168.99.100 colon 1234, the default port for that service in the browser and add the same connection string that we have in our database.js file. Okay, now from here you can browse the different documents in Mongo. In this database there is only one, but you can do whatever you want for testing purposes like creating or deleting stuff. Awesome, congratulations and thanks for watching.